Hello everyone. Welcome to the 12th tutorial of Python tutorial series. In the previous section, we have discussed about what is a function, parameter passing and returning value from a function. In this video, we are going to extend the discussion of function. The first thing we are going to see is how can we pass default value to the parameter. To understand that, let's take an example where I'm creating a function called power. This function takes two parameters. The first is the number and let's say the second parameter is the power. When I call this function, let's say it should print n raised to the number we have passed. So let's call this function. I will say power, the number I want 3 and I want to pass 3 raised to 2. Let's first of all try this sample then we will try to change with default value. As you can see the output is 9 it shows 3 raised to 2. Now I just want that if there is no power value passed in this function then by default this p should be 2. So for that what we can do along with this parameter list I can say p is equal to 2. This means if there is no value passed for p it will be considered by default as 2. If I pass let's say 3 comma 3 then the value 3 is passed to n and the second value is passed to p. So because we have passed the value, the default value will not be considered. If we run this piece of code, it returns 27, that is 3 raised to 3. But if I do not pass this value, then p will remain 2 because the default value for the same is 2. So now if I run, it's going to say 9. So this is a very useful functionality for the parameters we have. We just have to use the equal to sign to assign the default value. There is also one more functionality we have with function that is about keyword arguments. That is whenever you pass parameters to a function you can give the variable name and the value together. As you can see in this piece of code we have a function called names which has two parameters both have name called name2 and name1 and of course we are trying to display the value of name2. When we call this function we are using the name of the function that is names but here when we are passing the parameter we are passing with the key and value so first we are passing name1 that will go to the second parameter and name2 which is passed second here that goes to the first parameter of this function. When we run this you will see that in the output window the output is second. So when you want to change the sequence of passing parameter you can use the keyword arguments where you give the name of that variable that is the key and this is the value. So we have key and value pair which we pass with the function as an argument. In some cases you may have a function say for example the function sum in this function when this function is called you are not sure how many parameters are going to be passed in this function. Let's say when I call this function, I call with sum, maybe 4, 5, 6, 3 parameters, sometimes I am passing or maybe sometimes I pass only 2 parameters or I may not pass any parameter. So a function where number of parameters are not fixed and still you want to deal with all the values passed to the function, then you can use star and the parameter name. For example, I give here a. Let's try to print the value of a in both the cases. 
as you can see a displays 4 5 6 3 and 4 so all the parameters we have passed are passed to this a now this displays all the parameters if you have to deal with any individual parameter then you have to use a square bracket actually it creates an array but array is a topic which we have not yet discussed so we are not going into details of it but using the star using the asterisk you can get all the parameters for example here if I want to access the zeroth element of the array then it is going to display 4 and 3 respectively so this is a kind of array or list in Python but this is not a topic which we have to discuss in this video but at least to understand that if you use a star it is going to receive all the parameters passed to a function so these are the few extensions we have discussed of a function where we have default value we can have keyword arguments or we can take any number of parameters using the asterisk sign Thank <laughs> you.